A scaphoid fracture is the most common fracture that occurs to the wrist. It usually occurs by a fall on a hyperextended wrist and initially is misdiagnosed as a quote unquote wrist sprain. This bone is very difficult to image at times with a very subtle incomplete fracture and a lot of times when the patient goes to the emergency room, the x-ray is taken, they really not see anything and they're diagnosed with a quote unquote sprain. The pain gets somewhat better but does not completely go away and the rule rather than the exception in this subgroup of patients, which is usually an adolescent, is they ignore it and then they do come to the doctor three to four months later when they continue to have pain, decreased motion, x-rays are taken which demonstrates a fracture of the scaphoid. These can be very difficult fractures to heal if they are not diagnosed and treated initially. Um, when we do see anybody with wrist pain over the snuff box area, uh, standard x-rays and x-rays that are dedicated to the scaphoid are taken to confirm diagnosis. If there's a high suspicion of fracture without obvious evidence on an x-ray, cast immobilization for three to four weeks can be done. The patient's seen back in the office, cast off x-rays are taken, and the patient is reevaluated. If evidence of a fracture is noted of the scaphoid waste, at that point, continue uh, immobilization in a cast for eight more weeks can be done, or the patient can be offered a percutaneous screw fixation, which is very effective in treating this fracture. If we do see these patients acutely and there is an obvious non-displaced or slightly displaced scaphoid waist fracture, recommendations for percutaneous screw fixation are strongly encouraged because this will eliminate the amount of time the patient is in the cast and they can get back to usually normal activity by three months. 24-7 uh, casting is removed at two weeks, and the patient is then in a removable wrist support for a total of eight weeks. At eight weeks post-treatment, if the x-ray show the fracture is healed, the splint is removed, active range of motion is encouraged, but no sports. They're seen back in the office at three months. If x-ray continues to show good union and they have good motion and strength, we usually release them to full activity, no restrictions.